hello we're doing the saturday wrap again it's on a friday um but i'm sorry um it's a saturday wrap for saturday the 20th of august 2022 time 17 20 hours british summer time on the friday there are reasons Okay, I know there were reasons last week why I did it a day ahead. Um, this time, Lolfest 11 on the Tree Forest Industrial Estate. Um, weather forecast has changed. It was supposed to be showery all day. Now there's a couple of showers and who knows, it might be a heat wave. For those of you who don't know, Lolfest is a Bratty Tut Lol, um, the Little Laughs Brewery on the Tree Forest Industrial Estate. They have a little um, a brewery party and you drink beer and they have some folk music and hopefully they'll have a truck there that'll do food and there'll be lots of fine ales and videos, etc. So... Oh yeah, last time I went there, just hammered down with rain, thunder and lightning. That was about six weeks ago, so he's getting them in and I don't blame him. Okay, back onto the subject. If you haven't seen this before, it is me talking about my week up to now. So, work, fun, pleasure, beer, tech and things. Please free to co oh, I can't even say that. Please feel free to contact me and object such like. Anyway, word or phrase of the week. Now I could have had hosepipe ban. I could have had heat wave or the end of the heat wave, or I could have had rain and thunder and lightning. Instead, dog days of summer. Summer is coming to an end. It's the last full week next week. And then we've got the bank holiday. And before you know it, we'll be in autumn, the fall in the United States. And it'll be Christmas. And this year will have disappeared again. Hmm. App of the week. Okay, so two apps really play i've mentioned before on mac os and ios and ipad os it's like a, a read me later system for um youtube so you see a video you like in youtube and you just bang it into play and it'll keep a list of everything and you can tag them and whatever and i was watching a video that i tagged quite some time ago about luma fusion luma fusion is the premiere um video editing app on ios and ipad os and uh, there was someone from luma fusion academy and it was combining four videos into one and having them all run together and i thought i'm going to do that at tut lol um for the lol fest he says hopefully only seven seconds i might put a, an introduction onto it and take it up the, all the way up to 10 seconds but um what a corker. So, Luma Fusion, not free. You have to pay for it. And if you don't pay for these things, people don't develop them. Um, they've got to have a way of making a living from them. Um, it's not subscription. So, hats off. Anyway, so that's the app of the week, Luma Fusion. And the thing of the week, I couldn't get away from it. Um, but down in Pembrokeshire, West Wales, I think as from today or was it yesterday hosepipe ban a hosepipe ban um okay in wales uh, most of the water that we get comes from dirt cymru <sighs> they are a not-for-profit organization um they make a fair or a couple of bob for their senior leaders i don't think they've opened a new reservoir since forever if you can have a lot more people, which we're having, they're going to need a lot more services. You have to build those services. You don't just go, there's no water, oh, let's ban something. Um, because that's not really good. And anyway, um, I pay for this as a service. There you go. Anyway, um, this time last week, it was the last episode, Series 3 of For All Mankind... You have to watch it. You really do have to watch it. It was 
Well, I didn't expect it to end the way that it did. Some of it was, well, suspend disbelief. Um, there was Radiohead in it as well. Ah, and um, some people moved halfway around the world. I've learned that the Series 1 is coming out on DVD in September. That might be a Christmas present for me if it's on sale. Well worth watching. Okay, um, and because of the hot weather, it was Amber Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday last week, and it was hot and it was humid and sweaty, and there was talk about, well, it may be power cuts. Um, powered down the Synology, powered down the Umbral. Saved a couple of bob, no doubt. They're back up now and they're working and everything is fine, although the Synology is saying low on disk space which it kind of is i need to get rid of some junk um, i'm a hoarder i don't think that'll be a surprise anyway up early on saturday morning down to a wessex garage on hatfield road where my first experience with my uh, pixel 6a of 5g um i'm on tesco so it's o2 5g um i think it was about 295 down 30 up um, also um, on Smarty, which is three, uh, I think that was 300 down, uh, 30 up. Okay, they were early in the morning, so were, uh, the cells weren't overloaded or anything, but that was quite respectable. And the pings were good as well. So, yeah, had service and MOT. Took a long, long time. Um, uh, went over to Asda's for breakfast. Uh, um, it was okay. Customer service was slightly lacking. And then um, Costa Coffee. So I have another bean towards my total of eight for a free one. That's a rip-off, to be honest. And then I came back. Um, everything got passed, but there were a couple of May items on the MOT. Um, as mentioned last year, um, one of the bushes on the front suspension arm. And the two rear coiled springs on the suspension corroded. Didn't stop me passing the MOT, but hey, um, I think the front suspension arm, uh, sleeping policemen, they're all over the place. They ruin cars. And the rear coiled springs corrosion, well, winter's coming. It's I think it's going to be cold. Uh, it's certainly going to be um, gritting all over the place. They aren't going to get any better. So I'm taking it in next Friday. And from now on, all my servicing will be done in the week to have it done hellishly expensive but do it now while i've got the money because one of the other things that happened this week um i had um, an email from octopus saying your fix dual fuel comes to the end on the 30th of september what do you want to do they did offer me a fix and i thought it well, it wasn't good, but it wasn't too bad. Although they said this only lasts for 24 hours because prices go up and what have you. So October, the cap goes up and then January, the cap goes um, I fixed. Lord knows what happens when that fix ends, but what can you do? Um, Sunday was a trimming of the trees and bushes in the front garden. I finally got most of the big ones that are overhanging next door done. I wish they'd stop growing. I really do. Um, but there's all the rain we had uh, previously and the sunny weather and growth. Monday it rained. Monday was a lot cooler, but it didn't rain that much. And it was still hot and the rain came down, then it evaporated and then it was humid. Uh, there you go. Oh, also on Monday, um, cask mark. Um, back in March, just before my birthday, went to Stroud, went to check in, didn't have the password, did a password reset, the thing fell over, they said they would fix it uh, within the day. Um, two months later they hadn't, but now it is and I'm back into cask mark and I can go on the ale trail again, which is just as well because um, I'm going to Monmouth before long. And there's a new spoons there, and there'll be other places. Um, Monday night shopping. Yet again, in Aldi. No scotch eggs, no vinegar. So I went to Tesco's. I can't do without vinegar, and I can't do without scotch eggs. And luckily enough, Tesco's were price match in Aldi. On scotch eggs and vinegar. 
I like that. Um, um, club card points, maybe? Yeah, there was that. Okay, um, Monday night into Tuesday. Um, my internet was down. So, reboot the modem. No change. Reboot the, ro uh, the um, router. No change. It came on at 3 o'clock in the morning. It went away again. It was back on by... I think it was about quarter past five. Oh, um, can't do without fixed line internet. I really need it. This will be uploaded via fixed line internet. <laughs> A Tuesday, um, the email from Octopus. Um, and also on Wednesday morning, walking down the road, oh, I thought we've had a lot of overnight rain. There was a huge a deluge of water coming down in the gutter of the road. I came back up and I thought, it's only coming from halfway down the road. Hmm. Three houses up um, at their stopcock. It was leaking. It was, well, it was coming out of the fair old lick. The system for reporting it to Dur Cymru. You have to give your own name and address. Long story short, um, by the time I got home, it was all sorted, which is just as well. Hose pipe bands and all that sort of thing. Wednesday also taxed the car. 30 quid. Just as well, because the work I'm having done on it. Um, and... Um, Paying my water bill. That was well, that was Wednesday. Here's the interesting thing. Go online, use my credit card. There's a problem. Ring them up. Talk to their automated line. Give them the same details. It goes through straight away. Different systems. Different. Mm, they're annoying. I need to contact them. It's just like mm, no, sorry. Thursday. Well, it was another one of those. Well, actually, it was that. Uh, Treaters Friday day. Um, and which of the bar staff looks like Phil Lynott? Thin Lizzy. Um, count your blessings. Really count your blessings. Um, and finally, today, online consternation. The Middle Isles in Lidl. They're cutting back on the stuff they sell there. It's just not selling anymore. Times are hard. Um, so there's going to be less special offers, just like Aldi, um, and more food. Yeah, things are definitely changing. I need to hunker down ready for winter, or oh, and October 1st, obviously. But anyway, that was my week, and as I said, tomorrow, LOLFest 11. In the rain, or the sun, or the who knows what. Might leave a little bit later this time, because I had to wait an hour last time. But I was there when they opened. I had the best seat, obviously, in the corner. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, yes. Um, the front camera, FaceTime camera, M2 MacBook Air, um, and some LED lights powered by batteries. Bye-bye.